everybody, and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to make my favorite part of any meal, which is dessert. You know, I try to eat healthy, but every once in a while, you just got to have something sweet. You just got to. My husband says that's the reason I married him. I don't know about that, but he is awfully sweet. Anyway, the dessert I'm making today is an easy blender cheesecake. Now, I love to make gourmet desserts and bake from scratch, but I'm a full-time attorney, a writer, a wife, and a mother of four beautiful children, so I don't always have hours of time to spend in the kitchen. And I need recipes that are easy and quick and that look and taste delicious. And this one fills the bill. It starts out, of course, with Philadelphia brand cream cheese. And you're going to want to use two blocks of your cream cheese, which is 16 ounces. I let mine soften at room temperature for about 30 minutes, and then you cut it up into bite-sized cubes and put it in your blender. To the cream cheese, you're going to add two eggs, a half a cup of buttermilk baking mix, three-fourths cup of milk, and a cup of sugar, and just about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a little bit more or less if you like it. Now make sure you use real vanilla extract, not imitation. You don't want imitation diamonds on your hands. You don't want imitation vanilla in your food. After you've mixed all this together, all you do is whir it up in your blender, which as you can see, I've already done right here. Now my blender is really loud and it will probably blow your ears off, so I went ahead and mixed it up ahead of time. But I timed it and it took a little under a minute for this delicious dessert to come together. Now all you're going to do after you mix it together is pour it into a tart pan or a pie pan that you spray lightly with nonstick cooking spray. Y'all see how easy that is? Once you have your mixture in there, you can add whatever toppings you like. Now my family loves chocolate, so I've got some crunched up Oreos here, and I'm just going to put them all in my cheesecake. Doesn't that look good? Kind of smooth it out there put my spatula and mix them in real good. You could add mini chocolate chips, you could add fruit, whatever you fa your family likes. Now I'm going to bake this in a 350 oven that I've preheated for about 40 minutes or until it's set. You're going to want to chill this dessert for about an hour before you eat it. It tastes better chilled. But as you can see, I've already made one right here. Isn't that beautiful? I got some really pretty fruit at the farmer's market the other day and I put this on top of my cheesecake. And I think it looks really pretty. My sister Vicki used to have a produce stand, and uh, it was called Vicki Lynn's Produce. And my friend Evie and I used to go there, and especially this time of year, you would get so much, so much beautiful produce, strawberries and blueberries. And I thought with Memorial Day coming up, this looks really patriotic and beautiful to take to a Memorial Day picnic or barbecue. My brother-in-law, TJ, just got back from his third tour of duty in Iraq. So, TJ, big boy... This dessert is in honor of you. I hope that all of you will make this delicious dessert when you're short on time, but you need something that's quick, delicious, and looks fabulous. As always, be a blessing, be blessed, and have a delicious and sweet day.